a good start. <laughs> How's it going everyone? It is Icewire here and I guess it's been a long time since I've done one of these so this is just more of a wind down and talk about what's going on in life basically. And you have to put up with the presence of this very colourful cup and my metal rainbow straw. A bit to be thirsty. So we are in the month of October now, you know, we're at the halfway point almost and obviously if you haven't noticed, you know, uploads on here have been very slow and I acknowledge that. And without doing any kind of sub story, I honestly have just been, I don't know, feeling a little bit crappy, a little bit down and you know, things have been very, very busy. Even now I kind of find it hard to really like talk, which is, it, it's a whole thing, man. Just, I have been very anxious lately, and quite recently, you know, it kind of got to a bit of a boiling point where, like, I physically could not speak. And I kind of just want to talk about that for a bit because I, it's been a long, long time since this has happened to me. I can kind of feel it still there, like at the back of my throat now, which is just, it, it's something. <laughs> so what happened was, was that my husband was driving me somewhere because I said I'd help out at his mother's business for the day because they were, you know, flat out, they needed somebody and let's face it, I don't really have much to do in my free time, apart from videos, but as a whole, you know, adulting, it's important. So I agree to it, but it's one of those places that's very full on and, you know, it can get tense there. So anyway, he dropped me off and I was really anxious because I, what I do, what I did specifically was washing dishes. I've done it a few times there just because they're so short staffed. I just helped out because, I don't know, I guess the family now, so, you know, got to family, I guess. I don't know, I'm new to the whole daughter-in-law thing. So I agreed to it and even though I was really anxious, you know, I still went ahead with the day. I did it and it didn't go as bad as I thought, but the, the morning I got there and I just could not speak and I had the stutter that I have not had since I was a very little kid. If you're familiar with me or you know you've been around the channel for a while you've probably heard me in passing or did a full-on video talking about how I am autistic so this plays a part in it. And for a period of my childhood I had to go to speech therapy because I did not speak like a normal person. For a while there was a lot of uh, you know, being selectively mute here and there, and then I talked in third person. I did not do that. I did not start talking in third person like Gollum, I promise. But what happened was that I just started, just the anxiety kicked in and I was just, I had to force the words out and it like, you know that stereotypical like stutter that you see in like, I don't know, uh, comedy shows that some characters have? Or if you want a more modern comparison, you could say, I had to look up this character's name because I could not remember off the top of my head, but Bill, Billy from It, that kind of stuttering, that happened to me. And for a while it was like I just could not get the words out. It like hurt to get the words out and I got really distressed because this very, very rarely in my lifetime happens to me. Luckily, you know, my husband, even though he was very, very concerned, I learned after, after the day, you know, he was very nice and supportive during this particular moment of the day, because I, I I've never had that happen before. At least not since I was a kid. So I've had that happen to me. And it, oh no, it was really embarrassing. I, I stuttered in front of the other kitchen staff, but oh my god, they, they are the sweetest women. I swear to god. Like, I I could not get the words out. One of the masterfiles, okay, and I was trying to communicate 
that I had a bad stutter and I don't know, they were really nice about it. They were like two middle aged women and one of them gave me a hug afterwards. Usually I do not like people touching me that I don't know very well but I, know, I accepted it because I don't know, I guess I needed one at that moment and I just appreciated it. It's, it's the little things like that. I don't know, it, it can make a person feel a lot better during a really shitty time. And that was really shitty, I mean, I, I honestly could not tell you even now, like a day after, what that was about, but yeah, that was just, it, it's just thrown me off mentally. I've, I've been noticing that I've been having some trouble with like my speech here and there where I just go quiet. I can, I'll reply fine as daisies in my head to whatever somebody's saying, but I cannot force the words out. So, I have that going for me at the moment. So that's been kind of a reason, just stress overall is why I haven't made videos. And it, it can be hard to make videos in this RV as it is. And it is frustrating, like being stressed and wanting to make videos because, you know, I have a Patreon going and I have said like, hey, I'm planning on doing this thing this month. And then I have other things planned that I wanted to do, and it's just either time or just not feeling good is, I don't know, it's kind of McFucked the whole schedule if you get what I mean. So if you've been waiting for a particular video from me for a while, I am really sorry about that. Like I'm not even going to be like, I'll try and get to it later or like, you know, make any vague promises, I'm just going to say, sorry. I have a couple of things that I do really want to do just in the short period and there's gonna be some more bloodline stuff coming up. I have a video that I have been planning to do since my clan uh, crash courses and that's it's gonna be gangrel related which I'm excited for because I really like the gangrel. One of my favorite characters from bloodlines 1 was a gangrel, Beckett. And of course uh, I think Paradox Con is going on right now or at least it's about to start so I want to get all up on that with obviously whatever comes out of that, if anything comes out from it. There's also a werewolf game that I covered a while back that's finally getting some kind of news like this week, so yay. <laughs> oh, I really want to cover that. And I have one The Last of Us Part 2 video that I do want to plan, and it's going to be an essay kind of video on The Last of Us Part 2, and just sort of a look back to the events of The Last of Us Part 1, and looking forward to The Last of Us Part 2. I'm not going to spoil what it's about, but I'm excited. If you're a patron of mine, then y you know what it is. I put the little like teaser thumbnail up, so that's what I'm working on, writing the script for, so I'm excited. I also got some news recently that like contributed to distress about one of my pets that I left behind, which also, may I just say, Shipping pets, like, oh, like internationally is so fucking expensive. So expensive, it's ridiculous and really, really unfair. So, I have a cat, that, or had, have, I don't know how to really refer to my pet anymore. So, his name is Basil, I've, I've shown him on my channel before, and he had an accident that, and when I heard about it, I had like a legit mental breakdown because it, it's not pretty. He fell into a creek not far from where I used to live and he, I guess, swallowed a bunch of sand and then collapsed uh, three days after because the sand in his stomach was blocking the tubes so he couldn't eat and it was basically fucking up his insides. So he had to have emergency surgery and it was, it was very, very, it was a close call, and he was lucky that it didn't get to his liver or else he would have died. So now he's on a certain kind of cat food that he has to eat and is taking medication because without it he will basically get very, very ill. And honestly, it breaks my heart, man. It's one of the more shittier downsides to moving overseas is you know, leaving your pets behind, that's like the worst, worst part that I hate. <laughs> and that cat in particular, like, helped me for a lot of shitty, shitty times. Like, whenever I got anxious, it was like he would sense it. 
and then you know it would stick by me like glue and I don't know it's just it's upsetting and I wish that I could look after my cat and that I had my cat here with me but sadly that isn't the case so reason number two for me being stressed out of my gourd I also came to the realization that I have never in my entire life not had a cat. I had that revelation recently where I sat down and I thought about it just out of the blue and then I really thought about it and I realized that I have never not had a cat. I've always had a cat and now that I don't it just feels very unnatural. <laughs> anyway so that's what's basically been up with me. Videos will come just at a slow pace. I'm trying to Take it easy and sort of kickstart things with this video. I don't know when exactly this video will go up, maybe before Paradox Con or after Paradox Con has happened. But yeah, I just wanted to do a short, chill, but also kind of deepish update. Yeah. I really like Moon Mist in this country. I'll say that. Moon Mist. I cannot tell the difference between that and Mountain Dew. Anyway, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching and for the support so far. It's been crazy. I mean, we had 2,000 subs not too long ago. Somehow I'm still, like, growing. So thank you so much if you're new. Hello, welcome. This is a weird video to be introduced to on my channel, but thank you anyway. It's Icewire signing off, and I'll see introverts later next time on the channel. Have a lovely day slash night where we are in the world, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! If you do want to support the channel, please do consider checking out my Patreon. We've got some cool rewards on there, and maybe, just maybe, you'll find something that's your cup of tea. And of course, as always, a massive thank you to my current patrons. They are Nicholas Montoya, Kazgirl, Kuladora, Kay, and Zapfinelch. And if you want to see your name shouted out at the end of the video, just like these guys right here, do hop on over to my Patreon and yeah, have a look at the rewards on offer. Or if you don't want to deal with the whole monthly subscription stuff, do consider checking out my Ko-Fi. If an easy breezy or one-off donation is more your thing, do check that out.